Hi, my name is Natsuri and welcome back to my channel where I view, rant and discuss about shows or movies that I've recently seen. And today's review is on Kakegurui. So I'm the type of person that's not really interested in those like erotic animes that have like, you know, girls with like big breasts or like a little bit lewd because I mean, and it's not because I'm ashamed to watch it or like it grosses me out or anything like that. Like if anyone watches it, I'm not going to judge, you know, it's a form of art. But it's just because most of the time it just seems like a very, most of the time it just seems very boring. Like the story seems boring. It just seems like, you know, one guy going trying to get a girl just because how sexy she is or like it's just like one guy and a bunch of girls and it's like... Not really my type of thing. <laughs> yeah, I usually stay away from those kind of animes, but the reason why I decided to watch this one was because a YouTuber that I watch called Halloween, he had um, images of the main character on his Twitter, and I thought the images were actually quite pretty, like the animation looked really, really nice. And then I saw it on Netflix and I was like, and I, like at that time, I didn't know about, it was a gambling show, even though it's called Kakiguri. Actually, I didn't know I didn't know the title. I just knew about the character because of that. And so, you know, seeing the preview on Netflix, I gave it a go, and you know, it was enjoyable for what it was. For those who are thinking of seeing it or have not yet seen it, here is the rundown of the story. Academy is one of Japan's most prestigious schools where only the rich can enter. However, unlike normal schools, this one is run entirely by the student council and possesses a frightening hierarchy demanded by gambling. There, the best gamblers enjoy popularity, money, connections and authority, while those in debt are deemed as pets and servants to the entire student body, recognisable with a chain and tag around their neck. Yumeko Jabami, a beautiful and mysterious second grade transfer student, arrives at Hyakako Academy and is introduced to the school by Ryoto Shizui, a male student who has been classified as a bottom ranked pet after having lost a bet to Mary Saltome, their class's best gambler and hence accumulating a large debt. As Ryoto warns Yumeko of the gambling system and discourages her from gambling, Mary challenges Yumeko to a modified rock, paper, scissors game. Although Yumeko loses all her chips, she requests a final bet worth 10 million yen and reveals how Mary had manipulated the class's votes and allow her to determine Yumeko's cards. But there's one thing Mary doesn't know. Yumeko lives for gambling and, and gets excited the more the stakes are high. Will Yumeko survive always staking everything she has in order to fulfill her excitement? Or will the realism of losing everything and becoming a lower class pet await her? don't know Japanese kakeguru is a combination of two words which is kakeru which means to gamble and kurui which is to go crazy so the whole word literally means gamble like crazy or gamble until you're crazy I mean and which is pretty much what the whole show is kind of about <laughs> now I actually like this one because I'm the type of person that's not I'm not very good at like predicting the twists or like coming up with a solution or like picking up on the little details to like realize how you can get around it and like every time the characters like you know not going through option A or B you know there's option C I'm like oh wow you know that's <laughs> I'm always impressed like that's that's how easily impressed I am with these kind of things I think it's because I'm just really stupid <laughs> because, and like maybe I just don't get the gist of the games most of the time so I'm just like I don't know or like I, I follow the rules most of the time so I can never like go around them so like this kind of anime and also like liar game which isn't an anime it was a live adaptation of a manga like these kind of, those kind of ones where it's like <laughs> not really gambling 
because most of it is kind of like story-ish and I enjoy those kind of ones because it's not real to the extreme like it doesn't feel too real and like it's just kind of an enjoyable experience kind of thing so I think I won't be able to watch anything too intense or too serious like Kaiji or Akabane I believe that other one is called which is done by the same person um, because his ones are like apparently the best like gambling ones because they gamble their life away to the T so I feel like watching those ones will probably give me anxiety but I don't know I just feel like I I won't be able to watch those ones just because it's just too too intense I guess even though I like horror but so yeah anyway that's not the point <laughs> I mean I might eventually watch those ones I'll see but just but the majority of the reason is because I don't really like gambling much so gambling like shows or animes don't really interest me too much anyway so I don't know again I might I'm just ranting now or not ranting I'm just rambling now but now although the concept of a school that's okay for kids to gamble their parents money away and for some reason the school council seems to have a lot of power I thought was kind of interesting like you know that just seems and it seems like a very far-fetched story but it could also happen somewhere in japan <laughs> or in the world so i i really like that kind of story because and this is just like a think of it like an outside of the bubble kind of um thought but pretty much the re <laughs> i think it's a good idea because it does keep it does teach kids about like hierarchy because you know even though your parents might be like a big CEO person out in Japan or wherever but in this school if you you know do one mistake or you know if you gamble too much and you lose all your money you'll be put down to the lowest grade and you know you can't get out of that unless you try and you know win your ba way back up so I feel like it kind of teaches kids like what it feels like <laughs> to be on the bottom I guess you can say because you know it's kind of like a stereotypical like it's kind of like the stereotype that like rich kids are very spoiled and like they think they can get away with anything and like outside school you know the parents can probably get them out of anything but in this school no holds bar everything's done by the school councils and i'm just like mm, i mean you know that's a good idea way to like teach kids but again just <laughs> just a thinking outside of the bubble kind of way i know in real life that's probably not gonna ever happen because there will be problems i do like the animation it is really beautiful um it is done by mappa who does banana fish and also um yuri and ice so the animation is always really, really pretty with theirs. I also do like the opening song. Really, it's a really interesting like opening credit if you guys have a look. Weird song, but very catchy at the same time. <laughs> I also do like the characters as well. Like all of them seem to, you know, they seem to be like unique in their own way as like villains as well because the school council being like overpowered. They all have their individual like personalities and looks and whatnot. So, you know, having Yumeko face off with those guys, you know, those kind of battles, you know, is kind of fun to watch. I do also like the games or like the the games that they play against each other. Um, although I do sometimes find <laughs> the way that she gets out of it a bit far fetched. But like I said, I never. Like, my logic of how she can get out of it is always, like, blown away and impressed how she does it. So I'm just like, okay, if that makes sense, sure. <laughs> now, it's not really a complaint. <laughs> I feel like I always say that it's not really a complaint, but I just find it really weird. I mean, I know, I understand, like, the whole story and the concept is very far-fetched, but, but I just found it weird that there's no, like, adults in this story, like... They're at a school, but they never show a teacher, and it's and you know there are they there's scenes where they're in a school like a classroom, but they're never te they're never taught anything, and you know I just feel like it's 
weird how the student council has so much power like you know yes yeah, student council is there but they're meant to be for the students not to rule the school that makes sense <laughs> um yeah like what kind of school is okay for kids to like have a gun and also gamble and take a fingernail yes in one of the episodes i hit the second or third episode there's a girl that wants to take yumeko's fingernail and that's what she gambles um but it's just like i understand that these are rich kids and they can pr pretty much do what they want because of their parents but at the same time i'm like isn't that a little bit illegal and also very dangerous um i think it would have been better if they did have the teachers as like not act like guardians but i feel like they should have had teachers as like the dealers of like the matches like i know there's like hundreds of matches going on at the same time and whatnot but i feel like they should have had it like if they want an actual like duel <laughs> i guess i don't know a gamble um or fight i don't know what they called it in there um i'll just say duel because it's usually one-on-one -on -one. um if the kids wanted to do a duel they could have asked like, an official duel they could have asked like the teachers to like moderate it so that at least it's a little bit like official i guess you can say and then they can have those like underground ones and then be like the illegal team or whatnot and that would have been a bit more interesting i think because like if you think about it in the school it's fine because you know i guess in the school what happens in school stays in school but then when they're outside of school what if they you know one day a kid comes home and you know her fingernails gone because she gambled it with that crazy girl and you know like what what is she gonna do like i feel like her parents will be like freaking out being like what the hell happened like you know what i mean it just seems like a little bit <laughs> far-fetched without the teachers so i feel like they should have added the the teachers in just to kind of like moderate the whole situation at times now my favorite character is going to be yumeko because i don't know she's just a really fun cute character like she can be really really cute and very very sexy because <laughs> I mean she's the main character although she can be very very crazy like her whole point is the kakegurui where you know she gets so excited for gambling like that's that's what she loves like she gets turned on gambling that she doesn't care if she like gambles her life like it's for her it's not about winning or losing it's just about the whole gambling situation which is why she's crazy in this and on top of that like you know she has she's like super smart because she can get out of anything and like win although most of the time they made it seem like she had like really good luck instead and you do you do want her to win so that's why she's my favorite character so should you watch this anime i mean it's a fun anime just to like have a quick watch of there is two seasons I don't know how many episodes I'll put it up on the screen <laughs> um yeah I mean it's just you know quick fun anime to watch if you're okay to see weird gambling also very not violent like there's no blood in it at all it's just that the it's just that the games that they play are very like to the extreme like there's one where there's they put their finger in this trap and they have to cut string and obviously if you cut the wrong string your finger gets chopped off or there's a russian roulette one or like i said there's one where you know they gamble their fingernails because of because the girl likes to collect fingernails for some reason um so there are very extreme games in there but you know no no blood shed from what I remember. Now if you're fine to watch that kind of anime, I would recommend it. 
I don't recommend the live action version to be honest just because I mean the acting's not that good and also I don't know I think it's because the animation is a bit more expressive on the face and you can do like crazy you can show how crazy it is um just because the actress that does play Yumiko I feel like she just needs to be a little bit more crazy um but again it's always the whole thing about like live action versus anime but yes that's it from me thank you so much for watching give me a comment have you seen it before and if you have did you like any of the games that they played subscribe for more reviews and rounds coming soon like if you can and i'll see you in the next one bye